Crock Posse, Aunt Lou here, and today we are going to be making taco hash brown casserole in our crock pot. Oh, we're having a whole lot of fun. I made a mess. Yes, you did. <laughs> Aunt Lou here and today we are going to be making taco hash brown casserole in our casserole crock. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a 30 ounce bag of frozen, 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 frozen hash brown style or country style hash browns. Um, they're I've noticed that different brands call it different things so it's just the shredded hash browns okay. I've got a pound of ground beef that has been browned um, with two cloves of minced garlic. I've got a can of cheddar cheese soup. I've got two cups of um, taco style um, cheese. That's what that is. That's shredded cheese. And then I've got a seasoning packet of taco seasoning. So what we're going to do is we're going to mix all of this together except for some of our cheese and then we're going to put in our casserole crock. I cannot find my big old huge bowl that I usually do this in so this is the next biggest one I've got and while it is a large bowl whenever you try to mix all this together it it's big and so it can get messy if you don't have a big enough bowl so what I've done in the past whenever I um, my big old bowl is either MIA or um, dirty then um, I just do half at a time so I'm going to take and if I get this open I'm just going to pour about half of my hash browns in here and you'll want to take because you know sometimes they kind of clump together so you'll want to take and kind of do this to the bag I know that's really loud to kind of break them up so they're not all clumpy so I'm going to take about half yep that's about half and then I'm going to Sorry, that was loud. We're going to take about half of our ground beef. And this way, if you don't have a huge bowl, then um, you can still put this together without making a colossal mess. So we're going to take about half of this packet. And then we're going to take half of our can of soup. And then with our cheese, we have two cups of cheese, but one cup is going to be left for um, sprinkling on at the end. So we're only going to take about a half a cup of cheese here and mix in with this batch. And again, if you have a large bowl that can fit all of this, like a really large bowl, then you can just do it all at once and you'll use one cup of cheese with all the other stuff, okay? So now I'm just going to start up. Mikey, you can fast forward this part. Okay, I've got everything pretty well blended for this half. And so now I'm just going to take it and dump it into my lightly greased casserole crock. If you don't have a casserole crock, you can use a six quart crock pot. All right. And then we're going to do it all again. We're going to put the remainder of the hash browns in, the remainder of the beef, the remainder of the seasoning, and the remainder of the soup. And then we're going to take um, the other half a cup of cheese and mix in there so we have about a cup left to put on top. And we're just going to mix this up like the other. Okay, Mikey, you can fast forward this too. <laughs> All right, now we've got the second half. And so we're just gonna throw that on top, spread it all out, and you will need either a casserole crock or a six quart because with that 30 ounce of hash browns, like that makes a lot of food. 
So we're just going to spread that out. Get all nice and even. And then we're going to take the remaining cup of cheese and sprinkle it all over the top. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take and cover this and then put it on low for four to five hours or high for two to two and a half hours. Um, an additional step you can do but do not have to do is if you want to brown up the um, cheese on top and just make it kind of um, golden a little bit, then you can um, pop it in the broiler for about 60 to 90 seconds and do not walk away if you do this step because it will, um, it, it can go from good and wonderfully, beautifully golden top to burnt like that. So anyway, we are going to cover this and cook it um, and then we will be back in three, two, and we're back. And so this has cooked for, um, I did two hours on high that I know how this casserole crock works with cooking on high um, with these type of casseroles. And um, I also know that this is not an even cooking casserole crock. So I know that at the hour mark, I'm gonna, I set a timer and then I t take it and I twist the insert 180 degrees and put it back in there and then um, cook it for another hour. That way everything gets cooked evenly. I did throw this in the broiler for a little bit, um, but you totally do not have to. It's just a personal preference. And so let's go ahead and dig in. Oh, it's all creamy and cheesy in there. Yummy, yummy, yummy. All right, let's let you guys see this. Okay, see the steam coming off of it. You got the cheese and the hash browns and the hamburger, and you can see the seasoning on there. Over here, you can see where it kind of crisp up in the broiler. Super duper yummy. You know you want some. Give it a try. I remember it to come down this time. Okay, that's hot. I don't want to burn my mouth. You got yummy cheese. The potatoes are perfectly done. They're not mushy, but they're not like hard. And um, it's you got the taco seasoning and the ground beef like it all just melts together really well okay with this tripod I have to squat down to talk to you like this so I'm gonna go back over there so this is a great easy dinner and most crock-pot dinners take a long long time to make but this one is actually one you can make um, after work very quickly throw it on go get some housework done and then dinner's ready and you have a great meal for your family that's really one of those just like everybody of all ages loves it so that makes it a winner in my book that means my youngest to my husband are gonna eat it and so that makes me happy if you guys would like to if you guys like this recipe give it a thumbs up down below and if you would like to become a part of our crop pussy family then um, hit the subscribe button and if you would like to know every single time that we post a new video hit the button called the ding -a ling and no matter what you do laugh often eat good food and speak live bye I want to taste this <laughs> you want to taste it? go, yeah. go for it the kid couldn't wait for me to turn off the camera to go try some. What do you think? Hot. Hot? Tastes good? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. 
If you want to see the latest, click on the left right here. If you feel like subscribing, click on the right, my dear. And if you think we're funny, enough to send us money, click the Patreon. And